folks, welcome to another exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Tech. At number 5, HP goes up against the iPad Pro with its Chromebook X2. Two weeks ago, Acer announced the first tablet running Chrome OS. And today, HP is announcing the second, and it's a lot higher end. It's called the Chromebook X2, and it's very much designed to go after the iPad Pro. It has a 12.3-inch screen. The larger iPad Pro has a 12.9-inch screen, docks with a keyboard cover, and supports stylus input. The big benefit here is that the full package is available for much, much cheaper. While the Chromebook X2 looks like a bargain compared to the iPad, it's expensive for a Chromebook, which people often buy for around $300. At number 4, Blackmagic designed its new pocket cinema camera around 4K video. Blackmagic Design has unveiled a new version of its pocket cinema camera, and this one comes with some major improvements for 4K video. First and foremost, the new pocket cinema camera 4K can actually shoot in 4K, unlike the original version which was limited to 1080p. Like its predecessor, the new model can capture the footage in 10-bit ProRes or 12-bit RAW, but unlike its predecessor, it can record straight to the external drives over USB-C, which is a huge advantage when recording immense large 4K RAW files. The new version is supposed to launch later this year. At number 3, ZTE's new concept phone has two notches and clear corners. ZTE was probably thinking two is always better than one when designing its new concept phone and decided to add two notches. The ZTE iceberg, as it's referred to, has a notch on the top and bottom, according to renders. Even the rest is an edge-to-edge -edge display. The bottom contains the phone's front-facing camera, while the top notch contains a selfie camera, a sensor for ambient light, and a earpiece for phone calls. At number 2, Apple says it's now powered by 100% renewable energy worldwide. Apple announced today that its business is now powered by 100% renewable energy sources. The news is a major victory that the iPhone maker has been working towards for years through the purchase of green energy bonds and other renewable investments in its supply chain and physical infrastructure. The announcement comes just one week after Google announced that it now purchases enough renewable energy to offset its global energy consumption. At number 1, Apple announces new red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Apple is introducing new red models for the iPhone 8 and A Plus today. As with the iPhone 7 models announced around the same time last year, Apple is working with Product Red, an organization that campaigns to fight HIV and AIDS in Africa. An unspecified portion of proceeds from sales of the phones will go to the charity. Unlike last year's white bezel models, the red iPhone 8 has a black front panel. The Product Red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus join the existing space gray, silver, and gold models in the lineup. That's it on NX Daily Top 5 Tech. For more information, you can follow us via our social media platforms at Nigezi TV or you can visit us via our website www.nigezi.tv.